you are watching Redicon. Last thing I'm going to talk about is the slab legion. It is a tear or detachment of the superior aspect of the labrum that can extend anteriorly or posteriorly or inferiorly. Uh, on the basis of the extension and morphology of the tear, more than 10 types of slab legion has been described in the literature. I'm just going to talk about the four. We know the superior or superior anterior labrum is a common area of variant. We have the sublabral sublabral recess, we have the labral foramina at this region. So generally how to differentiate between a real tear or the sublabral recess, there are some criteria. Sublabral uh, recess usually does extend medially, while the tear does extend laterally. So one differentiation. The recess has a smooth margin, this has more irregular margin. This is less than three millimeter. This is more than three millimeter. Located at the biceps anchor. This is posterior to the biceps anchor, and I'll show you example. So if you look to this one, there is abnormal signal with extension of contrast that goes medially, has a smooth outline, and less than three millimeters. So you think this is tear or subrebral recess? This look like more of a variant sublabral recess. If you look to this one, we have abnormal signal that does go laterally within the bicipital anchor. So this definitely is a slab legion. In this case, you can see actually it's more than three millimeter. So this is another case of slab as well. And this, you can see it has more of a globular appearance, does not have a smooth outline. This is another slab legion as well. Slab legion, we have known for the common one. We are not going to go in the, in the 13 types. Type one is degenerative fraying. Type two, abnormal linear signal intensity. And this is the one we have to differentiate between it and the sublabral recess. And the type three, we have a bucket handle fragment, separate fragment, and type four, when there is extension to the biceps anchor and the biceps tendon. I'll show you example of each one. This is uh, type one, which is a regular fraying of the uh, labrum, superior labrum. Two, when you have a linearity, this is more than three millimeter detachment that has a globular and a regular outline. This is type two. Type three, when you have a separate fragment, what we call the bucket handle fragment. And type four, when it does extend to the bicipital anchor. If you look here carefully, you have abnormal signal uh, here. So this is more of slab two. This is has a uh, separate fragment. This is slab three. So in conclusion, we know that MRI play a major role in helping to identify the rotator cuff disease and help the surgeon uh, for the decision of surgery and outcome. So it's very important to be very careful in using the proper terminology and, uh, and evaluating different aspects of the rotator cuff. Many surgeons rely on imaging to assist them decision making and pre-surgical planning. Thank you very much. This video is presented in collaboration with Radicon Institute of Radiology. You are welcome to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the notification bell for updates. For more modules in radiology CMEs, please visit our website www.radicon.org.